I just love that I picked this card for you guys today because now I get to tell you my story. I got a little story that goes along with this card and I probably wouldn't have thought to tell you if I didn't pick it. Doesn't matter when you watch this, this is a Law of Attraction card from my deck, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. It's to help you break bad habits and start good habits, okay? I created this when I was um, newly sober, actually, and I created this deck to teach people all the spiritual recovery methods that I used in order to become sober, in order to quit my addictions, which were mainly alcohol, sugar, and toxic relationships, all the good ones. Okay, guys, so I picked the meditation card for you, and I am gonna read you the content on the back, but first I wanna tell you, because just this morning I was thinking that I need to do a reel about meditation and how I used to be so like against it. I had so much resistance and it's because I have a hard time quieting my mind. You know, I've got the, some people call it a monkey mind, um, a lot of chatter going on all the time. I have a lot of energy. Let's put it that way. I got a lot of energy. So this morning I wake up and I have my dog. He's only like this nine pound dog, Rico Suave. He's a long haired chihuahua, so cute. He's under my, he's cuddled all up under my right shoulder. And then I have my big furry cat, TJ. He's all cuddled up under my left shoulder. Well, yeah, it's under my shoulder, but whatever this area is, my underarm area, that's where they were. And they were so cute. And TJ doesn't even like the dog. And so it was amazing to see this because they usually stay far away from each other. My dog is cool. He's a lover. My cat, uh, this was a special morning. So I just used that as a meditation. We, I think we get a little too strict with ourselves and how perfect we have to be. And um, I was just sitting there, just in the present moment, enjoying listening to my dog breathing. He breathes like a little old man. He's almost 14 now. And then I've got my cat, who's also almost 14, but he was purring really loud. And I was just in the present moment, just listening to the purring and the breathing and cleared my mind as much as possible um, of thoughts. And then when I would get a random thought, it's okay. You know, just, um, just let it fly by. Just, I usually say, oh, isn't that interesting? Cause it's usually something crazy and random, like intrusive thoughts. Everybody gets those, by the way. Everybody gets intrusive thoughts, don't they? <laughs> I do. Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you get weird intrusive thoughts randomly? I do. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and read you the content on the back of the meditation card. Divine guidance is what it says on the back. Okay, so flipping it over. Right now, as you are reading this card, or as I'm reading this card, you are conscious. In other words, you are in learning mode, which is completely different from your subconscious mode. Your subconscious mind consists of your patterns and habits, which are hardwired. Can you see the problem when it comes to addiction triggers once you're in a real life situation? The conscious mind is excellent when it comes to learning new behaviors, but the subconscious takes over once the temptation is presented. The good news is that the habitual mind can change. Meditation is an excellent way to observe these unconscious thoughts and triggers so that we can bring them to our conscious mind to create lasting change. And that's what it's about, right? Like when we're trying to um, quit a bad habit, because really addiction, it's a bad habit that's gone awry, right? Like when I first started drinking, you know, and everyone was drinking, it was just you know, doing what everybody else is doing, but it turned on me at one point. It really got out of control. So it's a bad habit that went awry. And then once that happens, we need to do something about it. So meditation is an excellent way to observe these unconscious thoughts and triggers. So, oh, I just read that. My bad. I'm not, I'm not editing, okay? We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going here. When you take time, to quiet your mind and act as a witness to your thoughts and feelings, you are bringing this unconscious into your conscious awareness. Until we become aware of our subconscious programming, our nervous system is in control and we, we react to situations instead of responding to them mindfully, right? Those knee-jerk reactions that we get um, 
instead of taking time to pause. I used to worry that I was doing it wrong, kind of what I was saying earlier, which would create resistance to it and block my ability to quiet my mind. You cannot meditate wrong, so don't complicate it by trying to be perfect. That's what I was always doing, trying to be perfect. Meditation is simply quieting your mind so that you can tune into your inner being and other high frequencies. While meditating, trust that you are tapping into the highest source possible. Know that inner silence leads to a shift in consciousness above and beyond willpower. When you are confused or fearful, meditation allows you to disengage from the ego mind where the problems of addiction can be solved. Keep meditation simple. Commit to 15 minutes a day and use guided meditations on YouTube, especially if you're new. That really helps me, you guys. Guided meditations or breathwork meditations. You know, you know, listening to something, focusing on one thing, focusing on something. Um, it doesn't have to be completely quiet to meditate. Um, there will be some days that your mind is only quiet for one minute and you spend the other 14 minutes trying to calm your thoughts. That's normal. Normal for me. Um, that is perfectly fine. You may even focus on a consistent calming sound such as the air conditioner, or the sound of your cat purring, which I did this morning, or a ceiling fan. I do that a lot. Get creative and find what works for you. So I just has noticed in just hearing a lot of spiritual teachers talk, like it's just got all this ritualistic stuff and you know, you gotta have these crystals with you and do all the things. And really, you don't have to have a meditation cushion. You don't have to do all of these special things. It's really just, meditation just means getting to know yourself. And the more we get to know ourselves, the more we have self-awareness, that is the first step to quitting bad habits and healing addictions and getting to that root cause of why are we trying to fill in this void with alcohol or shopping or work or sports or video games, kids. If I have any kids listening or, I mean, God, why did I even say that? We all know plenty of grown-ups are playing video games, but this is escaping reality, right? We're escaping our present moment. We're, we're you know, maybe it's Netflix. Like, why don't you want to live in your life? There, you know, it's okay to have some fun with, with, with video games and Netflix and, you know, of course, just a lot of these things are okay, but it's when it becomes unbalanced and then we don't moderate anymore and we're playing video games like constantly and not living our actual life. You know, we came here for a reason to experience this 3D time, physical time space reality, right? So don't forget to be here. Don't always be escaping through substances and and games and work and you know there's so many there's so many addictions right so um i hope that helped let me know in the comments below and i do sell this deck addiction recovery with the law of attraction um check out my link in the bio of wherever you're watching me there's going to be a link that says addiction recovery with the law of attraction you could also just go to my um, website day one life coaching.com if you're interested in purchasing a deck. And I hope this helped you guys. And let me know if you um, if this helped you today or if you have a hard time meditating, let us know. I wanna hear your story. Have a beautiful day.